The degree of civilization in a society can be judged by entering its prisons. Tilda Fyodor Dostoevsky. Let this profound quote be our guide as we navigate the themes of redemption and forgiveness in the novel House of the Dead. In the icy grip of Siberia, within the confines of a brutal prison, Dostoevsky weaves a narrative that explores the depths of human capacity for redemption and forgiveness. His characters, each carrying the weight of their past actions, are set against an unrelenting backdrop of despair and deprivation. Yet it is here, in this harsh and unforgiving environment, that the seeds of redemption and forgiveness are sown. As we journey through the pages of House of the Dead, we are confronted with a paradox. How can such a bleak setting serve as the crucible for such profound human experiences? Amid the darkness, can a glimmer of hope and humanity truly emerge? In the heart of despair, can redemption and forgiveness take root? Let's delve into the characters to find out. In the icy confines of the Siberian prison, characters grapple with their past actions and seek redemption. A notable character among these is Alexander Petrovich Goryanchikov, a nobleman in the midst of convicts, grappling with his past actions and striving for forgiveness and redemption. Alexander, a man of noble birth, finds himself in the harsh reality of a Siberian prison due to a crime of passion. This drastic shift from a life of privilege to a life of hardship forces him to confront his past actions. He grapples with guilt, shame and regret, initiating his journey towards redemption. His struggle is not solitary. It echoes the struggles of his fellow prisoners, each wrestling with their past, each seeking redemption in their own way. The harsh and unforgiving environment of the prison mirrors their internal turmoil, adding an extra layer of complexity to their quest. Dostoevsky masterfully explores the concept of collective guilt and individual redemption through these characters. He presents the prison as a microcosm of society where each prisoner, irrespective of their crime, is a part of the collective guilt. This shared burden of guilt creates a unique bond among the prisoners, one that transcends their individual crimes and pasts. The theme of redemption is not just limited to the prisoners, the prison staff too, in their own way, grapple with the moral implications of their roles. They too seek forgiveness and redemption, reflecting the universal human quest for absolution. In this bleak and harsh setting, the character's journey towards redemption is not linear. It is fraught with setbacks, despair and moments of introspection, yet their relentless pursuit of redemption, their unwavering hope and resilience, is a testament to the indomitable human spirit. Through these characters, Dostoevsky paints a vivid picture of the human quest for redemption and forgiveness, even in the most dire circumstances. In the bleak landscape of a Siberian prison, redemption and forgiveness might seem impossible, yet Dostoevsky tells us otherwise. Fyodor Dostoevsky's novel House of the Dead is a poignant exploration of the human condition, where themes of redemption and forgiveness are not only prevalent, but integral. As we delve deeper into the narrative, we find that these themes are crucial for the characters as they navigate a harsh and unforgiving environment. In the Siberian prison, we witness the characters grappling with their past actions. Their struggle for redemption is not a simple one. It is layered, complex and deeply human. Dostoevsky uses the bleakness of the prison environment to magnify this struggle, painting a picture of the human spirit's resilience in the face of adversity. The prison, with its harsh and stark realities, serves as a backdrop against which the character's quest for forgiveness unfolds. The physical confinement becomes a metaphorical echo of their inner turmoil, their guilt, and their longing for absolution. It is within these cold stone walls that the seeds of redemption are sown and nurtured. Moreover, Dostoevsky suggests that redemption and forgiveness are not only attainable but are necessary for survival. The characters, despite their past misdeeds and the bleakness of their current circumstances, find moments of clarity and forgiveness for themselves and for others. This is a testament to Dostoevsky's belief in the human capacity for change and redemption. Finally, it's worth noting how Dostoevsky uses this narrative to transcend the physical and temporal confines of the Siberian prison. The themes of redemption and forgiveness are universal and timeless, resonating with readers across generations and geographies. In conclusion, Dostoevsky's House of the Dead illuminates the power of redemption and forgiveness, reminding us that these themes are universal and timeless, transcending even the harshest of environments.